Hello everyone, it's Robert with Sparkfin Electronics. Another week has passed, so that means another new product post. We've only got a few products this week, but let's see what they are. So some of you may remember several months ago we used to carry a non-invasive current sensor. Unfortunately, the supplier seemed to disappear off the face of the planet, and so we had to look for another supplier. So we have this back in, and it's slightly different than the other one. I just wanted to show you what it looked like in person. It is pretty much the same as the last one. It has this nice open and closing dealy that you would actually just wrap it around whatever wire it is you're trying to measure the current of. So you just pop it through there, go like that, and you can measure the current that's passing through that wire. And on the other end, we have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, um, which you can use with pretty much anything just to plug in. So if you're looking for a non-invasive current sensor, we do have this one back in stock, so check it out. This week we have another book. We carry a lot of books and um, we do tend to hand pick them. Um, I personally, as well as a couple other people in the building, read all the books and we evaluate each one based on its merits and you know how good it is. This one is a very interesting book. Um, it's a little different than everything else that we carry. This is The Manga Guide to Electricity. And it is a very good book in describing the basics of electricity, the basics of circuits, and you know a lot of other things that you would need to know to do a lot of the projects that we have here at SparkFun. However, the interesting thing about this book is instead of a lot of technical diagrams, it's actually set up in basically like a comic book format. It still does have a lot of the explanations like this, but the majority of the book is actually comic based. So. If you're really into manga and you're really into comics and you want to learn about electronics, this book might be right up your alley and it's probably the only chance that you'll get to read comics and learn at the same time. So check out this book. So earlier this year we talked about Maker Beam and Maker Beam was that fantastic material that you could build all these really cool things with and it was a great prototyping material. Well we've got another product that is very similar to Maker Beam and it's called Micro Racks. It is nearly identical in size, as you can see, um, except for the profile's a little different. So you can see it's very slightly different in how they approach this um, whole extrusion process. The Maker Beam is a little bit beefier, a little bit heftier, and actually has smaller channels in it. The Micro Racks actually has larger channels, and they work a little differently. You see with the Maker Beam, you actually take the head of the screw, and insert it into the channel, and then whatever it is you're trying to connect, you connect it to that, and it's held in place with a nut at the end. Well, that's a little different with micro racks. With micro racks, you actually have these little inserts that slide into the channel like that, and then this screws directly down into it. So it actually makes it a little bit easier to actually connect things to the micro racks than the maker beam. However, the Maker Beam is a little bit more stout and a little bit more heavy duty than the Micro Racks, but maybe that won't matter for your application. Um, the other thing is, Micro Racks has a couple different little pieces that are interesting. So let's um, look at some of the different pieces that come with Micro Racks. So here's the actual extrusion, and there's the um, nut that slides in the channel. Um, it also has these nice little angle brackets, which are extremely handy for connecting, um, you know, 90 degree bends, whatever. And then you've got this plate, this plate, and then L. And kind of a nice little feature is this little boot here. Uh, this little boot actually slips on the end and gives you a nice little protective cover at the end. So. You can use this like as a foot for something. Um, you can use it, you know, all sorts of different applications where you didn't want just the bare end of the um, beam exposed. Now, we have these in two different kits. We've got the small kit and we have the medium kit. Now, ultimately, the difference between the small and the medium is the number of parts and the parts contained. The small kit does not have these two plates. It just has the beams, the connectors, the um, other hardware, and these two angle brackets and some of these little boots here. The large kit almost, you know, roughly doubles the amount of um, components that you're getting and adds these two brackets in there. So we can just kind of open this up and you can get an idea. So this is the medium kit. And you have a lot of stuff in there. Whereas the small kit, not quite as much. 
product. So we've got this all laid out on the product pages so you can see just exactly what is in each kit. Each kit actually includes these little sheets that tells you how many of each component is in there. And they're pretty generous with each of these kits. Um, ultimately, the Micro Racks is slightly more expensive than the Maker Beam, but my personal opinion, the Micro Racks has a little bit better fit and finish. Um, you might not be able to tell it from the video, but if you look closely at the Maker Beam, it is actually raw, unfinished aluminum, whereas the Micro Racks is actually anodized aluminum. So it does look a little bit nicer if that matters to you. Um, the components are also a little bit more finished and polished um, than the Maker Beams. The Maker Beams are more of just kind of like stamped steel and they're a little bit less polished. They're both fantastic kits. The other thing that I want to mention is these kits actually work together. Um, these components can actually go in between the two. And um, we've actually done some demos here on the product videos where we've actually used Micro Racks and Maker Beam together. Um, you can't use the um, Micro, Racks, Micro Racks nuts on the Maker Beam, but the two components can go together with like the L brackets and everything. So if you already have a Maker Beam kit, you can get a Micro Racks and it'll all work together and vice versa. So between these two kits and the Maker Beam, you should be able to make pretty much whatever you want. So there you have it, another Friday new product post. Check out the Micro Racks. If you don't already have Maker Beam or Micro Racks, get one or the other. It's a fantastic thing to have around just for hobbying, building, whatever. So we'll see you again next week with another Friday new product post.